everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from my color screen, bringing you another easy to follow Android home screen tutorial. Today's home screen is a screen of the day by the author called Nick with his home screen rounded tiles. Now these home screens seem to be doing quite well and it's easy to see why. First of all, this home screen comes with a few different colors to choose from. You don't always have to go with this blue that is shown here. But what's awesome about this home screen is that everything is very well laid out. We have our time and date on the left hand side and below that we've got all the shortcuts that you can possibly need all on one handy screen. On the right hand side, we've got our battery notification that can be changed according to whatever color that you prefer. Beneath that, we've got that ever so popular context that you can change to whatever contacts you would like. And below that we've got our calendar as well as our weather app. Both are very powerful tools in this one screen arsenal. So if you like what you see, let us begin with today's video tutorial. So we're gonna be starting with our stock launcher. You just have to get rid of all your widgets. Don't worry, you, you can still use Apex Launcher, Holo Launcher, but in this video tutorial, we'll be using Nova Launcher. So to get into your Nova Launcher settings, you just wanna hold down on the home screen, select the little wrench at the top there to get into your settings. From here, we're gonna be going into our desktop. Then we're gonna select our desktop grid. Now it's recommended to get a 12 by eight just to get your widgets or your UCCW skins aligned correctly. But if not, you can play around with those depending on what phone you have. So I'm just gonna go okay for now. As you can see, I'm using a Nexus 4 and I still got it to work perfectly. So we're gonna leave our margins blank. Home screens, we just want one home screen. And the only things you need to enable is resize or widgets and maybe, maybe widget overlap depending on the size of your UCCW skins. So from here, we're gonna go back. Next, we're gonna go into the dock. You wanna disable the dock, you do not need it. We're gonna go back now. We're gonna go into look and feel and you're gonna scroll down to show notification bar. You want that option to be disabled. If we go back now, we can go into our gestures and buttons and here you can set your gestures at will. There's, as you can see, I've set my home button just to be an app drawer just for the main setup and gestures as well. If you wanna to toggle, if you wanna see your notification bar at the top, just comes in real handy. So we'll go back and that is our Nova settings set up. We're gonna go back now and there is our blank screen ready for the wallpaper. Great, so for the wallpaper, we wanna hold down on the home screen again. We're gonna select wallpapers and now you're gonna just select the gallery as there's nothing too much, there's nothing too complicated about this. You just need to copy the wallpaper onto your phone as this has a lot of text and images on it. I just had to edit it a bit for the Nexus 4. Don't worry, I'll provide this in the description below, but it's only for the blue version. I'll see if I have time to make ones for the other colors, but if we just select okay, your wallpaper should look like this if you're running in Galaxy S2, S3, when you have a phone that doesn't have soft keys, you just need to use the standard wallpaper. Great, so that is our wallpaper set up. Next, we're gonna be moving on to the UCCW skins. Great, now use, these UCCW skins are really easy to set up. You're just gonna be holding down on the home screen, selecting widgets. You wanna download and install the widget called UCCW. And you can pretty much select any size, but I like to go for four by twos for all of these. So you're just gonna select four by two, select open use zip, and you wanna copy these three onto your phone, the battery, the clock, and the contacts use zip. Now, when I first created these, that came up with a, a blank white box, and I was quite alarmed, didn't know what to do, but luckily the My Color Screen community helped me out. As you can see, it comes with a white box. So this, if this does happen to you, you wanna do that for all three of the skins, and then go back into UCCW, just by holding down, selecting widgets, going into UCCW, selecting a 4x2 again. But this time, if you've imported all of them, they should appear here as battery, clock, and contacts. Remember, you have to import them first using Open New Zip, and then they should appear in your gallery over here. So we're gonna start off with the clock. Just have to select the hand, and it should appear quite easily like that. You can resize, hold it down and resize if necessary. Next, we're gonna be moving on to the contacts. So we're just gonna hold down again, select widgets, UCCW, four by two or four by three, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go for contacts, select the hand, and then resize accordingly. Finally, we're gonna be moving on to the battery skin. Select widgets again, UCCW, four by two works well, and you wanna select the battery one. Now this one's a bit trickier than the others. First off, you can see it doesn't fit for the Nexus 4. It's a little bit wider. So you're gonna to have to change the width as well as changing the color if you don't want a gray battery bar. So to do both of those, 
we want to hold that hold it down this is first get it into a good position like that we're going to open it up into the editor so let's first change the color so if we go into select object now and we go into battery bar that's the whole bar itself and we go into select color now don't worry these exact colors have been have been provided in the description below but for now I'm just going to select them I've already created them so I'm just going to select the light blue one here and then if you scroll across to battery level color you can also change this individual color so even though it's above 30% we're just going to select it now I just had to do it for plus 15 as well just in case so this one is for the blue one but don't worry the ones for the other colors have also been provided but now you want to change this battery bar you don't want it so wide so you're going to go select object battery bar and you're going to go into height now it's a 142 so let's just try and make it a let's go for 90 if a 90 is too small you can always go for a little bit bigger next you're going to scroll across to controls number four and then go to height this is this height over here also make that a 90 now you, you just need to go select object select battery level again position and might have to just move it up a little there we go go close and there it is you're going to just go back now it doesn't really fit too well so you're just going to have to move it down slightly there we have it just repositioned so there is our UCCW skin set up. Next we're going to be moving on to the calendar widget. Now for the calendar widget it's quite simple to add. We're just going to hold down on the home screen, select widgets and scroll to the app called simple calendar widget. You can go for medium size, works very well. But now you just want to make that, get rid of that line and make it transparent background. So what you can see I've resized it there which allows you to select the right hand corner there to bring up your menu here. From here you want to go into appearance, go skin tweaks, your line color, we don't need the line so we're just going to drag that and make it completely transparent, go OK, can go back now, go into our background color, we also want that to be completely transparent and then go OK. I'm not going to go into all the font options but you can change those accordingly changing the alternate layouts as well. But I'm just going to go back now, go back again and there it is set up, we just need to hold down and resize it and get it back to how it is as you can see you can change the layout accordingly as you can see this is the setup that I've done for it and it works pretty well next we're going to be moving on to the widget, weather widget below for this weather widget we're going to be using the widget called fancy widgets over here and you want to select the 2 by one size remember that next you want to go scroll across to the second one that just has the information below and the icons above and you want to select that one right there but now you're going to be needing the pro version for this in order to get these icons here if we just have to select it go options here weather skin i've used the weather skin called cm9 white which i'm guessing is the one that was used as well as you can see it gives you those awesome looking white icons great we're almost complete next we'll be moving on to all these shortcuts to help open up each one of them Great, so for these shortcuts, there are three ways of doing it, which, and you can choose whichever one you prefer. First method, just going to go through it quickly, you're just going to hold down on the home screen, select apps, say for the phone, we look for it here, we just select it, boom, set up, you can move it into that little slot there for you. Next, you'll hold in on the home screen, we'll hold down on the icon, select the icon, right there, we're going to go gallery, you want to look for that blank PNG, select it go OK, boom, go OK again, set up like that. So when selecting that little icon brings up the phone. That's the quickest and easiest method and what's great about it is that you can add multiple icons at once. The next method which is slightly longer but it's great because you can select the entire icon or in, including the text. If we hold down on the home screen, select widgets, go into the all faithful desktop visualizer. Now you can select any size you want but I'm just going to go for three by one should have been a 4 by one I think because now you can resize it so it takes up all of messaging just going to select it now select icon you want it to be that blank PNG and for select action you want it to be your messaging you just want to clear the label take off touch effect if you want and then go OK so that also works just touching that opens up your messaging and there we have our home screen as well as our video tutorial complete now if you haven't subscribed already please click on the subscribe button over there if you haven't already and don't forget to check out our Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus communities. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen and don't stop customizing.